that, you know what I mean? I gave it a little bit of angle and all of a sudden I just hear this loud, like stupid loud grinding noise. At that point, I was like, yeah, something has to be wrong. Something's not right. What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another video for y'all. <sighs> man, oh man. I don't know if y'all can hear that right now, um, but I'm gonna roll the window down in a little bit so you guys can hear it, but I wanna go ahead and give you guys, I wanna up open up this video um, by starting off saying, if you see water, bro, on the floor, just avoid it, man. This is something that, long story short, right? So just a little bit of context for y'all. Right now, Houston is in the middle of a tropical storm. We've been getting hit with a whole bunch of rain. Um, this morning, I was on my way to work, trying to get to work. I literally had to turn around three times. Um, the roads were starting to flood. Um, so it was like at that point where the water is starting to build up and collect um, at the, you know how like if you're driving on the street and on like the far left or the far right, depending on how the road is um, angled, the water starts to collect and gather on one side. Um, so it was starting to do that. Um, and I was staying in the middle lane, the trick to, you know, avoid those like big clumps of water or big bodies of water is to drive in the middle lane. Why? Because nine times out of 10, the road is gonna go like that, right? You have your left lane, which is on this corner, right? That's already slanted. Then you have the middle lane, which is gonna be at the top of this like hill that the street makes. And then you have your right lane, which is gonna be at the end of the hill. So I was in the middle lane, you know, which is like the most highest ground possible on the road. Um, and just got hit with like this gust of water, like just came, like it was just too big of a body of water. And um, what I did was I tried to, you know, veer off to the side a little bit, to the right hand side just a little bit, to try to make sure that I got away from the water. Of course, what ended up happening was I got pulled in, right? But like not not too bad to where like I had to pull over or anything. So, you know, I continued to drive after I passed over that, um, came to a red light. And now after the red light, I was driving and in front of me, the people in front of me had stopped and were turning around and driving on the wrong side of the road coming back towards me and I'm like what the heck's going on you know what I mean I could only mean one thing so as I started to get closer all I could see was like the entire street was just covered in water like full like it was full on flooded man so I ended up having to turn around literally in and do exactly what everybody else was doing going the wrong way um, so I'll go ahead and put some photos up on the screen. I really didn't get that many pictures, but I'll definitely put some pictures of the flood water that I did get and some pictures of the picture of me turning around and everybody else doing the same to go back towards the other way to get away from the water. are filled in you're probably wondering to yourself okay J.I. but what does that have to do with the title and the thumbnail if you know what I mean if you didn't get pulled into the water what is that you know what I mean why are we here why are we watching this video this is why so when I was driving um, I ended up just turning around after the initial like turnaround I just decided you know what I'm gonna try a different street this would be my third street. If that doesn't work, I'm going home. I'm just not gonna be able to make it to work today. So I tried that third path. Definitely was the same result. 
So I ended up turning around and going back home. Now, when I was going back home, I started to hear like this really loud, like rubbing um, coming from my front driver's side. And I couldn't stop the car because like I said, it's flooding, you know what I mean? And it's raining. So like, it, it was just not a good mix. So I kept driving. Just, you know, I was driving slow, being cautious, making sure that, you know what I mean? I wasn't out here tweaking. Um, pushing the car or anything like that trying to stay alert mind you it's like it's literally like 6 6 25 6 30 in the morning um you know what i mean i'm halfway you know i'm still waking up so i'm not pushing the car at all anyway finally get to my house and i pull into the parking garage um through the secondary entrance and when i pulled in i scraped like crazy I'm like, what the heck? Like, I've pulled into this garage before. All I have to do is add a little bit of angle and I'm straight. Like, it's not to the point where you have to raise the car up or anything. Like, it, you know what I mean? It's like you just add a little bit of angle. Instead of taking the turn directly on, you go a little bit wide and you're straight. So, that's what I was expecting to happen when I pulled in. So, I did that. You know what I mean? I gave it a little bit of angle. And all of a sudden, I just hear this loud, like, stupid loud grinding noise rubbing noise i'm like i'm not you know what i mean i how can i have scraped that hard just pulling in normally like i do on a day-to-day -day basis so at that point i was like yeah something has to be wrong something's not right i get out the car and i see this I don't know I don't know what happened I guess the water caught on the fender liner and legit pulled it out um, took it out of place literally bent the bracket that holds it in um, that connects it to where the side skirt and the fender meet pulled that bracket bent it out of um, you know what I mean bent it out of shape and just literally just pulled out the fender liner itself Luckily, 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 luckily for me, man, I was not that far from the house. It was not rubbing for that long, too long, because I feel like you never know, man, if who who's to say if it was, you know what I mean? If it was to have been a little bit longer of a ways for me to get back to my house, who's to say the fender liner wouldn't have rubbed a hole through the bag? You know what I mean? Like, that's how, like, you guys see how it is. That's literally the entire fender line. So, with that being said, I just said, okay, you know what I mean? I have to take it off at this point. I tried to push it back into place. Wasn't going for it. Why? Because that bracket was bent. At the time, I couldn't tell that because the fender liner was in the way. So, I ended up ripping it off and putting it in my trunk. Now, I went in the house and... You know what I mean? I laid down, took a shower, laid down, took a nap, and just was like, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna think about it. <sighs> the rain finally let up, um, and I'm on my way right now to go grab some water real quick. And I'm driving the car, and all of a sudden, I hear this knocking noise. Now, you guys know, the OGs know, when Hazel blew on me, I heard that same knocking noise, and I almost, lost my mental now i'm gonna go ahead and crack the window for y'all because i don't know if y'all can hear it now but i'm going to crack the window for y'all so y'all can hear the knocking noise that i'm talking about because honestly it's it's no bueno i have my assumptions as far as to what it could be what it possibly is but let me go ahead and crack the window for y'all and give y'all some sound clips
that has to do with the tire, if I'm not mistaken. Because, just listen to it. And this is how I know that it's not a lifter, it's not, not anything like that. Okay, pulled up to the red light, right? I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in neutral, right? No knock. See, like, if it was a lifter or if it was knock, whenever I rev the engine, the knock would be heard, but it's not. So it has nothing to do with the motor. There's no check engine lights, nothing like that. You guys just saw the dashboard. The only lights that are on are TPMS sensor lights because of the rain. Um, however, however, this brings me to my first theory. I did turn the wheel on the, I turned the wheel to the left all the way so that I would be able to see the tire. Um, and I aired my car up all the way so I could see like, you know what I mean? What all got exposed or whatever, you know, what happened. And sure enough, the inside of the tire, on that side, on the driver's side, in the front, is definitely showing wire um, from the camber in the alignment. So what I'm thinking is, I probably have like a cord, a piece of thread, that is hanging from the tire and is literally just smacking the ground every time that the tire rotates. I honestly think that this is the only issue. I'm not 100% sure. We're about to find out. Um, I'm just waiting for my girl to get off work. When she gets back home, if the rain holds out, I'm gonna have her get in the car and drive the car forward while I look at the tire to see if I can see any like thread or whatever the case may be. And I'll go ahead and cut it off and then have the tire flipped so the inside is on the outside and the outside is on the end. That way the wear is not gonna be as dramatic as it currently is. This Mustang, don't be a Mustang, don't be a Mustang. He was, he was definitely about to be a Mustang. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that quick little update, but without further ado, that's gonna be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Also, let me know, guys. I know y'all can tell I started a new way of doing the thumbnails um, on the channel. Let me know if you guys like these newer thumbnails or if you want me to go back to the old style where it had like the frame on it or if you like, you know what I mean? If you like the ones that are coming up right now, like just let me know what's grabbing you guys' attention. Are these thumbnails grabbing your attention? Is it making you want to click on the video? Same with the titles, man, you know what I mean? Are the titles intriguing? Are you rocking with the titles? Let me know. Let me know down in the comment section down below. But like I said, without further ado, that's gonna be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button.